So in my last video with you, I talked about you getting clear on your financial objective and I hope you took that on and gave that some thought. So in today's video, what I want to shed a light on for you is for you to start thinking about where it is that you want to invest, like what neighborhood. And when you look at those neighborhoods, think to yourself, who's going to be the tenant base that I'm going to house in these, in these properties? So when I look at a single family house in an up and coming area, I look at the school system. Is this a good school system? So when I attract families, they'll stay a long time because they'll love the home, they'll love living there. And once they settle in and their children start going to school, the likelihood of them staying anywhere from six to 15 years is very high, especially if you give them a beautiful home to live in. And I have done this in so many markets and is very successful. I love owning single family houses. The other area that you might want to consider is maybe you want to do college rentals. So where is that area if you want to do college rentals? If you're looking to do like co-living environments, if you want to work with senior citizens or Hispanics or people that are on Section 8 or whatever the customer base that you want to work with, maybe you want to work with vacationers or have an Airbnb. So that's something that I have my clients look at is where do you want to invest? What neighborhood? Because it gets you thinking. Because what happens when somebody decides they want to own rental property typically is it's an impulsive decision. They go out, somebody tells them about a cheap house, and they don't even know the neighborhood. And that is where the problems begin. So they buy the house, they end up in an area that is not an up and coming fringe area. It's a, I call them a no income, low income area. And there's nothing wrong with investing in those areas. You just have to be equipped as a landlord to deal with that tenant base. And I know because I rented to 87 Section 8 gals for the first 16 years um, as I was a real estate investor. And it was, it was challenging. You know, there was something I had to be up to in order to deal with that tenant base day in and day out. There was a lot of drama. Um, there wasn't high turnover though because I knew how to work with them. I knew the type of property that would make them happy and make them feel at home. But you have to be equipped for that. You have to be wanting to deal with that element, right? And everything has an element. You know, now I, I, my customer base now, my tenant base is high income earners. And that's a whole nother set of personalities, right? They're picky, they're discerning. Um, they want things the way they want them. So, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you just need to know like, what is it that I'm going to be taking on? Like if you rent two families, you know, if you rent to families, like what is it that that tenant base really wants when they go looking for a house to rent? They want three bedrooms. They want laundry on site. They want a backyard. They want it to be in a good school system. And you, that tenant base, you know, families, they can be in low, mid, mid, low, mid income earners, high income earners. You know, the rent will be different in all areas. Your investment will be different in all areas. But just look at, like, if you decide to work with families, you know, where are you going to invest and what tenant base do you want to work with? So I hope that's helpful because what you need. Before you begin, please do not begin until you get the information that you need to make conscious, responsible, and profitable um, decisions for yourself. Because the number one client that I end up working with is the one that didn't get the right information, they weren't clear about their financial objective, they didn't have a plan in place, and they just forge forward, and then they and they can't back out of it just as easily as I got into a rental property. So I want you to take your time, you know, get the information you need, get a solid plan in, in place before you begin. Hope this has been helpful. Deb Cleveland and bye for now.